suppose let me just record this so that to those that are not here will be able to get something to lay hands on in terms of explanation. Please, and first of all, I need to share the notes. Giovanna, please. Can you help me distribute this? Okay. I'm so sorry for not doing so. No, just others. So in lesson two, we learned that ANAC as a measure, because when we're studying, then we said, you know, if we had something of this nature, if this is a circle, and then we have a, an angle here, which is a central angle, if this angle measures 70, we said this part here also going to definitely measure 70. Because you know, the central angle will definitely be, will definitely have the same arc length, you know, arc measure as the arc that, you know, the arc that intersected. So here today, those are the things we're going to study in two ways. And the arc is what, you know, we talked about recently which is to be the path, you know, what, the path or a section of the circumference of a circle. Yesterday we talked about circumference. So you should understand what we say by circumference. You know, the circumference is the, you know, the total, you know, the sum of the whole, you know, so the surface around the circle. And then if you partake a part of that surface, a part of that circumference. That part is what we call the arc. So joining these various arcs together will definitely form the circle. Then, in terms of central angle, in our previous note, we said an arc measures is equal to the measure of the central angle that intersects the arc. And we're going to see that right now. Here, and we able, you know, we're able to then, we, we were able then to find some kind of measurement to be able to deduct what we're saying here. So here today, if we have a K to L, a K to H, what does K to H represent? from K to H passing through the center, what does K to H represent? In our quiz yesterday, AB was a tangent line. Some pick tangent and second. No, a second is a, you know, a line that passes through the, the, through the circle. Whereas the, ta the tangent does not pass through the circle. It's, the tangent is always outside the circle, but only touches the circle at exactly one point. But what is the longest chord in the circle? Savannah, you have any idea? What does KH represent? You said? Diameter, thank you, that's good. So since KH is the diameter, and we know the total motion around the circle is 360, then it means this small portion here gonna definitely what? Measure 180 degree. Because, you know, in on a straight line, the angle measure is always 180 degree. Then if you take K to H that measures 180 degree, and then the arc that intersects it is this arc, such so that, you know, K L H, the arc K L H is a semicircle or half circle. So if it's half circle, it's gonna be half of 360, which is 180. Then the question that I be that I be that is being asked here is that we should find the measure of arc H. You're moving from H to L and then to J. And uh, the purple arc here is the combination of the red and the green. And here, as we know, red plus green. Red is 180, green is 50. Adding these two numbers, 
we have 230 degrees. So this is just a recover of what we did in lesson two. To find, you know, when you have the angle measure, it's easy to find the arc measures, okay? If you have the arc measure, it's also easy to find the angle measure, you know. Then today, since the, an arc has a measure, which is in degree, sometimes some people do it in radians, so it depends on the unit, you know, uh, the scale they're asking you to find the measure. So what about the length? So today is what, uh, you know, the thing we're gonna talk about is the length. And uh, the length of an arc is, diff is quite different from its measure. Yes, it is. And it has its own formula that we're gonna see soon. And uh, as I've said earlier, the measure of an, uh, the measure of an arc is in degree. That's why we're able to find measure of HLJ to be 230 degrees, okay? But that of length is the distance that is formed around that particular arc, okay? Then what is the formula for that? Please, it's something a bit weird. Uh, you know. You just need to memorize it, you know. You need to co you commit it. You need to commit it to your memory, like other formulas we've seen so far, like the formula of yesterday when we asked about the area. The only thing you were supposed to do is by multiplying pi by r square. Pi was given as three point one four, r was given as three. You needed to square r, and you needed to square three, and three square means three times three, which is nine. And then you multiply nine by 3.14 to get your area yesterday. Then the, another beautiful formula for today is L being equals to two pi R times X degree over 360 degree. Why? Is this L we're talking about? The L here is the length of this arc. If it were to be in the measure of this arc, if this angle is X, so this arc has to be X in degree. But if this angle is X in degree and you wanna find the length of the arc that is formed, this is the formula that is used, which means two pi R, as we earlier know, represent the circumference of a circle. We did it, at, was it? Uh, on Tuesday, we said the circumference of a circle is always two pi r, two times pi times the radius. So it's the same thing that is showing here. Then multiply by a portion of the circle, a ratio of the portion of a circle. The ratio of the portion is always that part of the circle, like uh, when you take pizza and then the pizza is subdivided into maybe eight, sometimes maybe four pieces, or maybe a, yeah, four. If this part is taken, then this part, this part represents what? A ratio, which is one out of what? Four. So the ratio is here one over four. So the X degree over 360 is just a ratio of the whole of the circle. Then, I'm gonna call it, that ratio is called over the part. So the, another definition here, arc length is found, the arc length is found by multiplying the whole circumference by the part of the circumference that the arc covers. To be, to be able to see what's being said here, we need to just do some kind of exercises. So by going to the next page here, what is the ratio, Javara? Hey, what is the radius here? The radius of this circle. Nine. nine. So here R is nine. What is X? 
What is x, x degree? What is the degree of this angle here? 60. So x, x naught is 60 degree, okay? Then the formula says 2 pi r times x naught over 360 degree. Then you replace whatever you could replace. 2 pi r here is 9 times x is 60 over 360. Yeah, 2 times 9. Can someone try that? What is 2 times 9? What is 18 times 60? One thousand and eight, eighty 80 divided by 360. So here you have a very you have a very big calculation. So you need to be careful on how you type your you know your calculator. So here you have three, and then since pi is intact, leave pi by the side. And the unit, what is the unit of the radius? What is the unit of the radius? Okay, M, what is M? What does M represent? Class, what does M represent in unit? What is M? Hmm? If you wanna measure something and they put M at the back, what does that mean? Yes, it's middle. Then if you're gonna have this same answer in Rounded, you know, to in decimal form, just replace pi by what? What do we say is the approximation or the approximation value of pi? Okay, 3.14. Then multiply 3 by 3.14. What do you have? Okay, 9.42 meters. So here today, to get the length, multiply the circumference by the ratio of the portion over the whole circle. The portion measures 60 degree. The whole circle measures 360. Put 360 over 360, and then you multiply that number you get by the ratio. If they ask you to find it in terms of pi, just multiply two by the, ra the radius and then multiply it by the ratio you found and leave pi by the side. And if they said to find the decimal approximation, just replace pi by 3.14 and you are done. So the next problem here, our radius is 16. What is X naught? What is the degree of the portion? Oh, okay, 120. And then the formula says 2 pi, the length, arc length, this length, the length of this arc here, 2 pi r times x naught over 360. Then we have r being 16. And then our the degree of the portion is 120 over 360. Path over O is O is always 120, you know. In, in this particular situation, is 120 over 360. So can someone help us to calculate this as well? You're gonna first of all do two times 16, then times 120, then you divide by 360. What some people do. They will first of all deal with this guy. They will do 120 divided by 360. Whatever they get, they multiply by 16 and then multiply by two. But whichever way, you're gonna get the same answer, okay? Yeah, 120 divided by 360. What did you get? 30, you sure you got, you got what, 30? 
divided by 360. That's, that should be a decimal number. Then you multiply by 16, do times 16, times two. Yes. 10.6666, so let's say 10.67, pi, and the unit is what? In centimeter. CM stands for centimeter, okay? And then running up, you know, to round up this, but uh, you know, the decimal form of this is gonna be 10.67 times, instead of pi, put 3.14. So Jovara multiply that same number by 3.14, what do you get? Okay, there is 3.51 cm centimeter. Then this is another problem down here. Here we don't know the radius and we don't know the angle measure of one of the portions, okay? But the question says, Here, the information we have at hand is sometimes you will not know the angle measure, which is obvious here. There's no X naught being given. If the color wheel is broken up into equal pieces, find the arc length of the orange piece. So here, we're gonna find the orange piece here, but how many portions do we have here? How many different colors do we have? Sarah, first question. How many question? How many colors do we have here? Six. Six. So it means since we have six colors, you're gonna divide three sixty by six, okay, to get the measure of each portion here. So Sarah, if you do three sixty divided by six, what do you get? 60. 60. So it means each angle here will definitely measure 60. See if this measures 60, this has to measure 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, okay, to make it 360. So all of them gonna be 360. Then since you're able to find that X not being 60, but what does this 22 represent? 22 represents the distance from here to here which is the diameter. So if the diameter is 22, yes, last time we said diameter equals to two times radius and the diameter being 22 feet means what should be the radius? If 22 equals to two R, that means R is definitely half of 22, which is what? 11, because that, Diameter is always twice radius, or radius equals to half of diameter. So if the diameter is 22, half of that 22 is going to be the radius. So here we're able to find the radius to be 11. If R is 11 and our angle measure is 60, then we go back to our formula that says 2 pi r times x naught over 360. So by doing so, 2 pi r is 11. Our x here is 60 over 360. Can someone help me calculate this? 60 divided by 360, then multiply by 11, then multiply by 2. Yes. And then multiply by 11. Multiply by 2. No, try it again. 60, 60 divided by 360. Times 11. Times 2. You sure? Can't, let me try it here as well. 
what I'm getting on my notes, 60 divided by 360 times 11 times two. Okay, 3.67. So 3.67 pi, the unit is in feet, so you have to put feet. The second option here, Savannah, or Jovara, or Avalon, or everybody here, is that you can as well take 2 pi times r, then times what is the ratio since we have six different, according to Sarah, we have six different colors, you know, and you are using one out of the six colors. So the ratio is going to be what? One over six. This is another uncommon way of finding this, you know, just of solving this problem. We have six different colors, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blue, the violet, or maybe purple, and then the red. Say, and we're only dealing with this orange, which is one out of six. So one out of six, because we said X naught over 360 is the ratio of the part over the whole. So what the part here is one, and then the whole is six. So Jovara, you're gonna do again. Do one divided by six. Yes. times 11, times two. Okay, that what you get? 3.67. So to take home, what we need to do today is we needed to find the arc length. We know how to find the arc measure. The arc measure is always in degree, whereas the arc length is in distance. If the distance is given in feet, you put the feet. If it's in meter, you put meter. If it's in centimeter, you put centimeter. If it's in inches, you put inches. But there's a specific, there's a specific formula for that. It's always the circumference times X naught over 360. The X naught over 360 is just the ratio, you know, the ratio of one part of the circle over the whole part. And the circumference is always 2 pi r. So if you go over this GeoGebra geo here, you're going to see here the radius is 4. The circumference is 24, 25.13. Why? Because we know the circumference is 2 pi times r. Can someone help us calculate this? 2 times if pi is 3.14, and then r here being 4. What is 2 times 3.14 times 4? Can someone try it back home, please? 2 times 3.14 times 4. Can someone try this? 25.12. OK, 25.12. It's because you know this approximation is not, because we still have some numbers behind pi. That's why they just took 25.13. OK, then I want to find this angle O. A O B. If I click here to find angle o, A O B, here yeah, since angle A O B is 90 degree, what should be this arc length? Without clicking here, let's find what, how to do that. We know it's always circumference times the circumference itself is 2 pi r times the x naught, which is 90 over the whole circle, which is 360. Since R here is four, pi is 3.14, and then we have two, but you know, the whole of this has already been calculated as this number. So then do two, five, one, three, 
25.13 times 90 and then divided by 360. What do you get? Can someone do that? 25.13 times 90 divided by 360. What does that give us? Six point two eight two five. Okay, so this is gonna measure to six point two, let's say eight, and the unit is in centimeter. Okay. Then let's go check their whole answer here. As you can see, the arc length here is two point six point two eight, and the ratio definitely is what. The ratio we're talking about is the same as this 90 over 360. So here, since this is a right angle, this looks like if you extend this radius here, you also extend this radius here. We have this part of the pizza, the second portion of the pizza, the third portion and the fourth portion, okay? And we're dealing with only this part. So what is the ratio of this part over the whole part? Here, it's gonna be just one over four. So some people, instead of just doing 90 over 360, they will just do, they will just multiply this number by one over four. And it's gonna still give them the same answer. It's like the, first, the second option we use here to calculate. You see the second option we use here? this problem down here. Okay, the second option we use, two pi r times the orange part over other colors. Since we have six colors and we are only using the orange, orange represents a color out of the six. So the ratio is gonna be one over six. So, you know, here we have four, four square, uh, you know, if you divide this circle into four, so we're gonna have one over four and one over four decimal, you know, in decimal number is gonna be 0 0.25. So this is all we have for ourselves today. And I think we've done something great. We're just gonna go to the homework 